sugar bugs welcome back to the channel for a tutorial on how to get the sims 2 to work for windows 10 now for the past year you guys i have not been able to play the sims 2 since i upgraded to windows 10 and i have literally tried everything and i mean everything this was the only thing that worked for me and hopefully it will work for you too but just because you're having issues and we're talking about windows 10 here i'm pretty positive this is a surefire way to completely fix the game no matter how what what windows you're running so this tutorial will hopefully fix crashing at launch it'll also fix crashing as the game generates elements such as magic pets etc the purple lights and just random crashing throughout the game uh, resolution issues in case you just notice that for whatever reason your game is only an 800 times 600 this will fix that to you and dark shadows under sims is another one that I'm hoping this tutorial will fix but if not there are plenty of ways that you can fix that trust me that is the least of your issues so without any further ado let's go ahead and fix our game so before we dive in, I would like to go ahead and give Christina a huge freaking shout out. Thank you so much for sharing this one and only solution with all of us that has literally saved my freaking sanity. Um, she's actually the one that found this compiled checklist. And believe it or not, you do need to go through all of the motions of the ocean to get your game to work because it could be any one of these things. But I feel like this is a foolproof way to fix any of your hassles. So if there's anything here that you need, I will link all of these resources on my website at xurbansimsx.com and please 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 don't skip any of these steps i'm telling you you guys you need to do everything no matter what no matter even if it says it's optional trust me it's not so step numero uno you need to have the sims 2 installed onto your pc you could either have it via origin maybe you were able to take advantage of the time that they were giving the sims 2 ultimate collection away um discs on ebay amazon etc we're not going to get into that because I don't know what could happen if I said, you know, like where else you can get it. Um, but there are ways. Not all hope is lost. So once you've got your Manitos on the game and you've installed it onto your PC, we are going to need to apply the 4 gig large memory aware patch. And this patch here says it's optional right here underneath the checklist, but it's not optional, especially if you're having crashing at launch. This will 122% fix that for you. However, you will still probably have crashing after the game generates different elements such as magic or pets or what have you. So once you've gone ahead and grabbed the 4 gig patch, you are just going to go ahead and download that onto your PC. Then you are going to need WinRAR or some type of program that opens up these particular types of files. Um, and then you're going to double click the 4 gig patch. And we're going to go ahead and hit yes. And as you guys can see, it's already installed onto my game. So it's going to it's not going to probably pop up like this. But to be able to actually find it, you're going to need to go to this PC um, local disk. Uh, then you're going to go to program files times 86. And then you are going to have to find where you have installed your game. Now, if you have other OK versions of the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, um, then you will go there and you'll do it that way. But if you have it via Origin like I do, um, you're going to hit Origin Games, then you're going to hit the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, and whatever is the latest asset that you have possession of for the Sims 2, you're going to find that .exe file. For me, because I have the Ultimate Collection, I'm actually just going to go right on in to Fun with Pets. Then we're going to hit SP9 TS Bin, and then we are going to go ahead and double click on the Sims 2 um, SP9 pack, I believe, or ESP9, something along those lines. You guys saw what I did there. And then voila. So I'm going to do that just one more time. Just one more time. I'm going to show you guys the patch um, or where you, you know, attach it to. So again, Origin Games, The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, Fun with Pets, SP9, TS Bin, and this bad boy right there. Sims 2 EP9. Okay, cool. So once you've got that, you're good to go. But then we need to move on to the next thing. We need to download the latest release that is called tar.gz. I feel like this is kind of what ultimately fixed my game. Um, it basically made everything run smoothly. It got rid of the crashing and those ultimate, like ultimate, <laughs> they were kind of ultimate, but annoying, like rave pink lights that were so irritating. Um, so yeah, we're going to grab that file and then 
Once we have that in our possession, we're going to download the version 0.21 Lolly Hop, which I think is so like, <laughs> so creative. So I think we're going to download that. Hopefully this is working. I think we actually need to scroll down to the bottom to download it. Oh, yeah, it's right here. OK, <laughs> just kidding. Um, So, yeah, you're going to double click the asset right here, the first link, and it is going to download into your game. Again, you need Winmar. Once you get Winmar, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take this bad boy drag it onto your desktop or wherever you want to put it and then you're going to um, open it up okay and you're gonna see two different types right of files here you're gonna see times 32 and times 64 now you're probably gonna be like oh well my computer is times 80, uh, 64 so that's what I need no you don't and the reason why you don't need that one and you actually need the 32 bit is right here um, it says that you need the times 32 bit because it is a uh, because the Sims 2 is a 32 bit game so just keep that in mind you're gonna make sure that you grab the right files because otherwise you're gonna have a freaking more problems than you began with so once you do that all the files that you're gonna need are just these two bad boys right here that they already have set aside so you're gonna need d3 d9 okay dot d l l and then dxgi dot l l DLL. Got it? Okay. So once we've got that, all that we need to do is actually drag these um, back to where we patched our game. So by now, I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly where this folder is located. But again, just to reiterate, it's going to be under this PC, local disk program times 86. Then you're going to move in to wherever your game is installed. But in my case, it is Origin Games. Then we're going to go into the Sense 2 Ultimate Collection, which again is what I have. Moving in to Fun with Patch. We are going to slide into SP9 TS bin, and that is where you will drop the two .dll files, and voila. So the next thing that we need to do, it's a little weird because every forum underneath the sun will tell you to do the complete opposite, but you're going to find where your little .exe icon is to launch the game. We're going to go ahead and right click on that. We're going to hit properties, and we're going to move on over to the compatibility tab to Typically with Windows 8 or Windows 7 even, um, forums will tell you to make sure that you're running the game under the compatibility mode for like Windows XP or Windows Vista, something along those lines. Um, for Windows 10 users and people that are following this tutorial, you're not going to do that. So make sure that it is unchecked. OK, nothing checked here. You want it to look exactly like mine does. And then you're going to hit OK. Next, we have to have graphics rule maker installed. This is going to help your game recognize that you have a lot more memory than back in 2004. And also it's going to help with situations such as like the, the ugly little boxy shadows underneath your Sims. It's also going to help with resolution because by default, your game is going to only recognize like 800 times 600. And this isn't the Stone Age. Like we have, you know, 920, 1080 now. You know what I mean? You want that. So um, with that, you're going to actually go and head on over to this particular website here that's going to walk you through the steps. But in short, all that you need to do is you need to run the installer and follow the instructions by installing it onto your PC. Then you're going to move on to having the application trying to recognize your game. So as you guys can see here, this particular person, and probably has like the CDs. Um, so they're under the electronic arts file. But of course, if you are like me and you have it through Origin, um, you're going to go through the same folder that we have been literally going through the last like 10 minutes. And then um, here's where you kind of need to pay attention. So by default, this is what um, the graphics rule maker is going to look like, right? And believe it or not, you can actually do this manually if you wanted to. Um, but then it gets a little, little tricky. You don't have to do it this way. But um, for the sake of just making things a little less complicated, I highly suggest that you do. So with that, you're going to see it um, kind of like by default here. The force texture memory, you're going to make this into 1024 megabytes. Um, you're going to go ahead and instead of disabling the sim shadows, you're going to make sure that those are checked so you don't have shadows underneath your sims. And it, for whatever reason, I think everybody has tried to fix this, but they just can't. Um, whenever you have sim shadows enabled, you have like little like blocks, like little black boxes blocks whatever underneath your sim so just disable that you know save yourself the headache also make sure that you check fix amd radon hd 7 
thousand series um and then high quality on intel graphics just make sure all of those are checked default resolution is going to be these uh, new, uh numbers here you're going to change them to 920 times 1080 and then make sure okay make sure because i didn't do this you hit save files after you make those changes okay um also if you're like me and you have like a you, i don't even know what what graphics card i have like the ti or something um uh, the titan xp all right so my my game did not recognize that at all um it's gonna go ahead and uh, it may it will go ahead and recognize what graphics card you have and add that to the game's database so that too will no longer be an issue. This is seriously a freaking staple. I love, love, love this program. So once you're done with the graphics rule maker, come back to the checklist and just check out some of the other suggestions that they have for you. For instance, do not set the forced textured memory to anything higher than um, 2,000. I thought I was being cheeky and I set it to like 8,000 and that actually caused me to have the flashing purple lights issue. So it says here, if you are still getting the purple textures keep adjusting the forest textured memory lower in 2.6 mb intervals so say you did set it to 2000 and you're still getting that issue just keep lowering it down um i had this at 128 and it was running fine the game was perfect so i mean it just it kind of just depends on you know what you're looking for i guess one last thing before we wrap up this video and i hope that by now your game is working and you're just like Whew, i did that because that's exactly how i felt except i wanted to pop a freaking bottle of like <laughs> rosé <laughs> end of it but um if you guys launch your game and you're like jen it's still at 800 times 600 what is going on all you need to go do is hit the uh hit the three dots down at the bottom options f5 um and then just change it here to whatever your heart desires and then also um you can go ahead and play with you know smooth edges and whatever else you're gonna notice that obviously your shadows are off but you know we already talked about that one already um refresh rate as well uh and i think that's about all of it all changed I'll leave hob uh, object hiding um, off if you want it. Of course, you can turn it on. I think that just like helps with the the efficiency the efficiency of your game. Um, but other than that, guys, hopefully this tutorial helped you. If by whatever reason you got confused by my descriptions, um, of course I will link that whole checklist at xurbansinsx.com, and I'm pretty sure it'll help you like it helped me. And with that said, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed, and if you did, you know what to do. But don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules. Good on the weekends. I'll be in fools. Drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid.